What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're back at it with more Emerge NYC gameplay for Emergency Monday. And today we're going to be making our largest response ever in the game. It's going to be a full of three alarm response to a church fire. You guys definitely want to catch this one. Be sure to hit that thumbs up and let's get started. All right, we're back. We're on engine 280. Had a viewer ask about this engine the other day. So we're going to be responding as 280. So anyway, to get such a large response in game, I did a few tricks we'll be talking about. Um, in a minute here uh, as far as how we pulled this off because we got a few things going against us But uh, we're going to give this a try. Of course, it is going to be a little laggy because it's like 12 engines um, seven ladders and uh, uh, Let's see what uh, uh, two battalions and a rescue I think so Yeah, it's going to be quite the response quite the response let's get down here and uh i think what we're going to do is probably go down and come back up maybe the fire should be going we've got like we've got units blocks away from this fire it's it's crazy how far away some of them are on different hydrants and stuff so yeah it's a little bit a little bit laggy i mean there's no surprise there no surprise at all with that so uh we'll see we'll make it work all right, let's see. Should be just right down here, maybe. Yeah, it's definitely a little laggy. She's struggling. You can see all the tower ladders. We got tower ladders for days. And uh, regular ladders as well, so. Yeah, it's a little laggy. <laughs> it's a little laggy with the horn. Man, that's a lot going on. All right, let's hop out. Let's see what we got going here. Let's see. Uh, this Hopefully this won't melt my computer, but we'll give it a try and see. So we got uh, Ladder 112 is here set up. They are on a uh, adjoining resonance there, rooftop. Uh, we got Ladder 123 that's set up to uh, put water on the fire. We've got uh, Tower Ladder 120 set up to put water on the fire. We've got uh, 157 Truck. Uh, flushing trunking trucking company uh, they're set up to put water on the fire we've got uh, tower ladder 44 they're set up to put water on the fire uh, who else we got and we got the 111 truck down here that's all of our aerial equipment let's pull this down because we don't need all that uh, we've got our battalion set is sitting down here we've got uh, engine 310 we've got engine 214 uh, he's supplying water to 111 We've got uh, 236 here on the corner. He's not currently doing anything, but he can grab that hydrant right there if we need. Oh, I don't know what that was about. That was kind of weird. Uh, 310's just hanging out. Uh, let's see who else we got here. We've got, uh, of course, we've got engine 227. He was actually first due on the scene. He is supplying water to, I think, 157. Then down here on this end, we've got uh, our fast ladder. This is going to be uh, ladder 176. We've got battalion 37. We've got squad 252. We've got, uh, who else here? Who else we got? Uh, engine 283. And then down here we've got 249. He's on another hydrant. And then way down at the end of the street there, we're going to have, let's see who this is. This is going to be uh, 255. He's on a hydrant on the corner down there as well. So. That's these guys, and then we've got a few more going back the other direction as well. Let's go check them out. Uh, we've got 222 on the corner here, and uh, Rescue 2. And is that going? I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. So actually quite, quite the response here. Let's go to uh, F6, and let's kind of get a little bit of an overview here. There you go. <laughs> it looks pretty sweet. I love it. I love it. Took me a hot minute to set this up. So now what the problem is that we run into with these big response videos like this is the fact that uh, if we start the fire first and then we roll up on it, usually it's going to burn out before we ever get a chance to do anything remotely close to this. Like it just, it won't last. So man, that 44 is huge. <laughs> That's a huge tower ladder. I think it's what, he's like 190 feet, something like that maybe. So what I did is, uh, of course, I spawned all the units on the map that I could, and then I just pre-positioned them around the fire location, got them all set up and ready to go, and then we uh, we started the fire, then we rolled up in 280. So that should be how it works. Looks so like 157's got some uh, wonkiness going on with him there as far as his nozzle. 
He left it behind on the ground there. <laughs> he doesn't have it with him, so. Uh, I tried him out earlier. No wonder he wasn't working. Uh, 120 will work, and I know uh, 111 will work. I wasn't able to get 44 to do anything, so we'll have to kind of play around with it and see what we can do. Look at that guy down there <laughs> looking up. <laughs> He's looking at the tower ladders. That's hilarious. So this is where we're at. We have a huge fire. Like this is the biggest fire ever, I think, or biggest fire response, I should say, that we've ever had. There are there are a few more that are bigger, but uh, we haven't done the church fire in a while, so that's what we're going to be doing. Um, I think at this point, what we need to do is let's hop in. Um, let's hop in 111. Where's 111 truck at? I think he's down here. Right? There's too many to keep up with. Like it's a crazy amount of uh, stuff to keep up with. Okay, right, can we hop up right here? We may have to go on the other side, actually. Yeah, we may have to. We may have to. It seems like everyone's really liked the nighttime stuff, too. Like, they've really enjoyed the night scenes, so. Uh, that's what I wanted to do. Let's see if we can hop down and let it keep spraying. Will it keep doing its thing? Uh, what are you doing? Yes, he is spraying. Nice. He is doing his thing, so he's good to go there. Um, I don't want to put like a ton of water on it right yet. Not yet. We we need to hold off. We need to let it simmer a little bit. We don't need to just get right on it. Let's see if we can get 44 to do anything. I'll be honest. Some of these uh, tower ladders, I you know, ladders and tower ladders, I have never done anything with them in game. So I couldn't tell you if they work or not. But we'll find out here in just a second. Let's get this guy down. Because I can't get him to spray from the ground. Now, 120 is the same way. I couldn't get him to spray from the ground either. But if I went up in the bucket, um, I could get him to do his thing. So let's see if this guy will do anything. We'll hop in the bucket real fast if we can get to it. We need to pull it down a little bit more. No, we're good. Yes, we do have water. Sweet. All right. I want to try something real fast. Before we uh, get crazy with this, let's hop down and see if she'll keep spraying. Yes, you will. Nice. Okay, good job. All right, let's hop back up. And let's start getting some water on it here. There we go. All right, let's let's uh, let's go out. Let's go out a bit. Yeah, we don't want to go too crazy with it. We don't want to just put it out right off the bat. We're going to let it simmer a little bit here. So at least we're going to try not to. Now, I definitely wish the fires were more persistent, and especially a big fire, like where you have a lot of fire nodes together. I wish it was a little bit harder to put out as well, too. Like, this will go out pretty quick. All right, so we've got 44 is going. Um, let's go back to F2, because I don't want to kill myself. I don't want to kill myself doing that, so. Let's go back to F2, and let's go back to, let's see, let's go to, if I can find it. Man, it's a crazy amount of equipment here. Look at that. That is a ton of stuff. All right, here we go. Let's get on 111 again. All right, is he... All right, he's doing his thing. 44 is doing his thing. I don't... I can't get... Of course, we can't get 157 to do anything. He's not going to do because he's a little bit janky right now. Uh, 120, we can try. We can try 120, but I'm not going to get my hopes up on this guy. I don't think he's going to work for us. We'll see. Let's uh, let's pull him back down. And we'll hop in real quick. I think the problem with this one is I can get water going, but I it won't stay uh, it won't stay on when I jump down. All right, so we got 44 going. Uh, 157, we can't use. He's out of service because his nozzle is janky. Uh, 120, I can't get him to keep spraying once I jump down. Like he just it just stops spraying for whatever reason. So. Won't be able to do anything with him. Let's go over here to one, two, three. Let's see. What can we do for him? Uh, we've got an engine down here, right? We might be able to hook up to a hydrant down here. Yeah, okay, we've got two. We've got 280 and uh, 332. So let's hook these guys up. I feel like I'm kind of flirting with disaster every time I pull a hose because it's just, <laughs> it's just more stuff for the game to have to run. So we'll see what it does. So far, so good. I mean, this is amazing. I've got, uh, what what I say, 12 engines and uh, seven ladders and two battalions and one rescue on the map. 
plus a, uh, a decent size fire and it's running okay like it, it's definitely affecting it but it's not like uh, horrible all right let's go back here let's get the relay and we'll go to one two three i know he'll work so we'll do him all right here we go let's hop up and connect them and let's get the uh, ladder pipe going ladder pipe and all right, we got to get the other end real fast all right let's hop down we'll hop down we'll do it on the uh discharge and start the pump up and we should be good to go we'll just go to the front Anyway, I hope you guys had a great weekend. We had a really nice long weekend. Really enjoyed it. It's just hot. It is hotter than all get out here in the state of Texas. It was like uh, 110 yesterday, I think, for us. 111, something like that. I don't know. It was ridiculously hot. All right, let's get you going. There we go. Yeah, like our, our AC was struggling big time yesterday. And uh, it, we weren't thinking about it. Spur wasn't thinking about it. And uh, everyone wanted sweet and sour chicken, like homemade sweet and sour chicken. So we had to, uh, of course, bake the chicken in the oven. And uh, that really got the house like crazy hot. So wasn't good. Uh, let's see, we've got a water stream going, but I don't know where this dude is going. All right, let's see if we can hop down. Is he working? uh yes he is so we got plenty of water on there okay so we got three water streams going that's not too bad i would have loved to have done um uh 40 uh let's see 157 and uh, 120 but uh you know three out of five isn't bad i guess look at that isn't that cool look at that that looks amazing it, it looks so good with all the lights and stuff so I wanted to ask about us using this, the the uh, scene lights and stuff like that but i'm like i don't think we really even need them like it's so bright here we might could uh we might could do one maybe let's see uh scene light there we go let's see if we can turn them around the only thing about it is you can't see where you're taking it like this is going to be kind of in the general area maybe uh let's see how could i do this kind of get yeah uh maybe that might be all right right there we'll see yeah, I always forget about the scene lights. I never, uh, I never do them. That's not bad. It's not bad. Pretty good. Do we have some more on the other side we can use here? Uh, no, they're all kind of, uh, all kind of blocked off. And I don't think, I don't know if we can use this one. I'm not sure on that. Yeah, that's not okay. Yeah, that's not doable. Let's go down here to 111 truck. I don't think we're going to have one for him either. We'll see. Uh, no, I don't see one. Okay. All right, well, let's go in the corner because these dudes need some light down here, too. Like, they don't want to be stuck down here in the dark by themselves, so. Uh, what can we do here? Yeah, none of these are really in a good position. Can we get this one to do anything? Will he work? No, he will not. None of them are working. That's really odd. I guess it's just the one. I was like, you get one, and that's it, guys. Like, y'all get one scene light. I don't, I don't know why not. <laughs> I don't know why we don't have any more, but that's it. That's all we got. Okay, right, let's pull that down too. Man, what a nice looking scene. That just looks so awesome. Man, that's a nice view too. Look at all the lights. It's just insane how much stuff is here. Really digging the, uh, the nighttime uh, calls. Just, I think the lighting just really, really shines. At night. Now, of course, these are all the newer engines. It's not uh, the older, the spares, or anything like that. Okay, so now that we've uh, kind of looked around and we've messed around with the scene lights and we've done all the things, uh, I think it's going to be time to uh, get a hand line and start putting some water on this thing, maybe. I think so. I do believe. Uh, we could do some monitors, right? We could do some ground monitors and try that way as well. Uh, you know, since 157, since he's not doing his thing, he's not working, we could disconnect from him and use the ground monitor. We'll try it and see. We'll try it and see. We'll grab one. Let's get one off this guy here. We'll get one off 234. There we go. 
All right, let's grab, uh, can grab the ground bottle. Yes, we can. The multiversal. All right. I'll be honest, we start kind of messing around with this stuff that I'm not that familiar with or haven't done a lot with. I feel like we're flirting with disaster, like something might happen, but we'll try it and see. All right, let's drop you down. He's good to go. Okay. Uh, let's get the relay off of uh, 157 here. T is out of service. He's not working, so we're going to go down here to the multiverse. There we go. Have some water. Yes, we do. Nice. All right. Let's get it turned around. There we go. Let's get it in the window there. Nice. Now the question is, is he going to stay spraying? Yes. Yeah, sweet. Okay. You work. Nice. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they don't. There we go. All right. We got the multiversal going. Uh, who else do we have here? We tried. Uh, 120 is not working. We could get another... Uh, ground monitor and go off that relay as well so let's do that let's do that let's see let's go down here to 222 right, let's grab that one there and I think we're gonna go on the side with this one as well um, where should we take this I think maybe right here all right, let's drop you down with X. And then we'll grab his relay. There we go. We have water? Yes, we do. Nice. We're in business. Let's get it around. Everyone on this side of Brooklyn right now is like, what happened to my water pressure, guys? <laughs> no one has any water right now. All right, let's see if we can keep this one going. Did that work? Yes, it did. Sweet. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Man, I love it. They're just It's just so much work to set this up. It really just is. It's like a ton of work. I worked on this, I bet, a good 15 or 20 minutes before I ever started the video. Like, it was a lot of work. All right, nice. We got our ground monitors going. Let's, uh, let's swing this one around a little bit more here. There we go. There we go. A little bit. All right. Sweet. We're good with that. Um, I think we're good on the ground monitors. Let's not, like, go crazy with it. Let's see. Is the gate unlocked? Yes, it is. The gate is unlocked. So, we could probably do a... Uh, I think an attack line now, guys. I think we need to start hitting it. Now we can pull our attack line. Let's grab him. We'll stretch him out a bit. Let's come back up here and we'll drop it. Grab the other end. There we go. And we'll connect him to the rear. So yeah, this is the problem I run into when I have a relay like connected to the rear or any kind of, yeah, it had to be a relay because we only do one attack. But uh, when you have your relay connected to the rear and then uh, you pull an attack line off and then you have to grab the end of it with E, you wind up always defaulting to the relay that's already connected to the truck. So it disconnects it. So, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. It's just kind of a little inconvenience. It's not like huge or anything like that. But Nice. Here we go. We're getting it now. Sweet. Let's, uh, let's hop down. There you go. Mr. Brady's doing it. Probably going to have to hop back in another tower ladder here shortly. All right, let's get back up. Let's go around here. Yeah, we still got a good bit of fires in there. There's lots of fires, guys. Yeah, I just wish on these kind of fires, these really large uh, structure fires, I wish the fire was a little bit harder to put out. Like you had to put more water on it to get it to go out. They just, once you start putting water on they go out pretty quick. I can't help but think that it would probably take a hot minute to get this out. Like you'd have to put a lot of water on it. And I think we're getting really super close to having this out guys. I think we are. Yeah, I think this is about it. There's still some in there.
Did we do this purely exterior? I don't want to go in. So far, so good. Yeah, I think we've about got it. I think we've got it. All that set up for about uh, <laughs> about 25 minutes of uh, video. That was a lot of work. It really just was. It was a lot of work. All right, is that it? Let's drop this guy down right here. Let's go around to the uh, other side. I think so. I think it's out. We'll keep hitting it. We'll keep hitting it with some more water. Yeah, let's go over here. Let's go down to this one here. This is a first. I think we have maybe used a ground monitor once or twice, but I don't think we've ever had like this many streams going on a fire at one time. I mean, we have one, two, three, four, five streams, five different streams going at one time. That's pretty sweet. And performance wasn't bad, at least for me, it wasn't bad. I'm running a Ryzen 3700 with a 2070 Super video card, 32 gigabytes of RAM, and uh, I'm running the game on an SSD. I haven't always run it on an SSD. I did just run, run it on a uh, traditional hard drive. And uh, at the suggestion of the dev, I put it on my uh, SSD and it was like night and day. There's a huge difference, so. Uh, one of the few games that I run off my SSD, actually. Usually, most all of them are on the um, on the traditional hard drive. All right, we're going to keep soaking it down just a little bit longer, guys. We'll keep hitting it a little bit longer, and, uh, and then we'll call it a day. We may do one other little call real quick, just to have, just to finish up with, maybe. We may do is uh, take 280 to something. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say that a lot of these guys are still on this scene uh, working this fire, and so we'll respond in 280 since someone asked about it. Uh, someone had asked if uh, 280 was on the map or not, and it is. It's an off uh, off map engine. So basically, what happens is it will uh, it will spawn on the edge of the map, and then you can drive it in. Let's see. We got one window that is not busted out over there. We should bust that thing out. Let's grab our uh, let's grab our hand line and see if we can get it. There we go. <laughs> it can't have any windows left. Can't have any intact windows. There we go. Any on the other side here? Uh, maybe. It looks like they're all busted. Yeah. Okay. Nice. What a good looking scene. I love it. I love it. I just wish we had uh, more persistent fires. I'm telling you for this kind of response. You need to have those persistent fires. Let's go to, uh, let's go to the, uh, F2 mode and, uh, we'll do a fly through real quick. Take a peek at it here. Let's see. That's going to be the far limits of it. That's going to be us right there. 280. Right, actually that's 280 right there. Nice. Look at that. That is insane, right? <laughs> That is insane how much stuff we got on there. All right, so I think what I want to do, um, like I said, I want to take another little call, but I want to leave this going, and we're going to take 280. We're going to say maybe 280 was released to fill in in Brooklyn or something. I don't know how that stuff works out. I, I know they do something how they reposition coverage and all that kind of stuff, but uh, we're going to say we have a big, huge mop-up operation here. They're doing overhaul and all that good stuff. So we're going to jump in 280. And we're going to see about taking another call. All right, just got us another call. This time is going to be for uh, fumes in a, uh, let's see, fumes non-structure. I don't know what that means. I, yeah, I don't know if it's, it's like a shed or a garage or what, but that's what we're going to be doing. All right, let's go ahead and uh, we'll back out of here. And we'll head that way. Come on, keep going. I know you want to. Keep going. Yeah, we won't do anything too crazy or involved. We'll just do some uh, simple responses. There we go. All right, let's go. Come on, y'all get out of the way. Go.
They're not cooperating with us tonight, for sure. Let's see. Yeah, we'll swing down this one. We'll go down Fulton Street. I think it's Fulton. Definitely a lot of stuff going on in Brooklyn tonight, that is for sure. Oh yeah, I can definitely, I can tell a performance, like I definitely have a performance hit, there's no doubt about that. Just a little bit, it's super slight. I don't even know if you guys would be able to pick up on it. I don't know if y'all would, but I can, I can most definitely tell. Come on, don't stop right there, get out of the way. I'm gonna stop there. That's alright, we'll take your fender off. Alright, where is it going to be? I think right here on the corner, right? Oh yeah, it's his garage. Okay. Alright, let's go check it out. Let's get our uh, gas detector going here. All right, fumes in his garage. Let's see what we can find. Pull that down. We don't need that right now. Uh, actually, we need it up so we can see the odor. Never mind. Uh, I'm not getting anything, but this generator, or whatever this is in here, is running. Uh, maybe it's that. There we go. Yeah, it's just some exhaust. Someone's freaking out over some exhaust. Everyone's on edge tonight because of the big fire. Okay. Uh, that's been resolved. Let's see what else we can get into real fast before we call it a night. All right, let's hop in and uh, we'll head back to the station. All right, we're heading back to the station. Just had another call, this time for a uh, an alarm activation. Let's see, yeah, first alarm. All right, we'll head to that real fast. We won't bring anyone else. We'll just go to that, take care of it ourselves. I don't know why these guys are sitting down here. There we go. Now, when they pull units to uh, to support like this, let's say everyone in Brooklyn is at the big church fire. And so they're bringing in new units to uh, help with the uh, coverage. Do they do they actually like go to the stations or do they just respond from their own station? I guess that's that would be my question. Let's see, we went by it. Yeah, we did. That's all right. Yeah, I'm wondering, do they uh, do they actually like reposition the units? to the uh, area that's lacking coverage or do they respond from their own station? I guess that would be more of a... Uh, come on, that board's kind of laggy, it's kind of weird. I guess that would be more of a FDNY thing like what I'm asking. Come on, move, dude. Can we just bump him? Let's bump him, see what he does. Sometimes you can bump him and they'll go away. Yeah, he did. All right, nice. All right, it should be right down here. Let's see. Yeah, it's going to be one of these on the right. All right, let's see. Let's go to the uh, other side. We'll grab a halogen. We'll go inside. You know, actually, we'll get a uh, we'll get a Halligan and an axe, and we'll do it right. We'll do it up right this time. Oh, it'd be so cool if we had a uh, an asset that was like uh, the two combined. Yes, yeah, so you know how they like they carry them together, I guess. Uh, what do we got? This has to be it, but I don't hear or see anything. Is it this one or is it the one next door? I'm I'm confused. 
Um, I see smoke. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We got smoke. Uh, we got smoke. We sure do. This it's an actual what? It's an actual fire. Yeah, it is. Okay, let's go grab a can real quick. I wasn't expecting that to be a fire at all. I totally thought it was just going to be a uh, alarm activation. Uh, let's put some of this stuff back. Let's put you back and let's swap over. There we go. Oh, it's goofing it up for us. All right, now let's get the axe up. No, it's not working. No, <laughs> it's not working. No, we still got the same stuff. All right, you know what? Let's just get the can. Let's just go. There we go. Quick, quick, quick. <laughs> He's running a little goofy with that uh, axe in his hand. Oh, come on. Go, dude. Go. We don't need this to, like, uh, get into a fully involved fire. Like, that is the last thing we need. Come on. Oh, come on. Uh, go to first person so I can actually see here. Come on. Go out. Go out. Go out. Go out. Dude, you're fine. You're absolutely... It's not doing jack to it, man. It's not even touching it. Is, is this like a... Uh, dude, you're such a baby. Really? You're going to make me put on air for that? I don't think this is doing anything, guys. Like, this is having zero effect. Okay. Let's... Uh, doggone it. Let's go grab... Oh, man. We need a high-rise pack, pack and everything. Like, this is not good. All our other units are, like, out and about, so... Uh, let's, let's grab you. Let's go back to the helmet. Uh, high rise pack. Let's see. We need to run a supply. Yeah, we need to run a supply to stand pipe outside. There we go. I only think we're going to hook up to uh, a hydrant. I want to do this like really fast, as fast as we can. All right, let's get you hooked up there and let's get them pumping. There we go. All right, let's uh, go over here. Go back to this. Go back to our axe. Can we drop our axe? Okay, it's gone. Okay, good. All right, it's gone. All right, let's grab a high-rise pack. And let's go upstairs. Really, really don't want this to get any worse than what it is. There we go. All right, I think we're set. All right, we've got water. Nice. All right, let's go hit it now. Sweet. That did it. It's surprising the can didn't do anything. I'm wondering if we need, like, a traditional uh, extinguisher for that. All right, there we go. Crisis averted. It's out. Good job. Man, that, I was worried. I was like, all my units are uh, stationed, you know, and they've got all the lines run and like everything is going on over there. We don't need that right now. Like we don't need another full-fledged fire. All right, guys, we're good in here. So I think we're going to go ahead and call it. Anyway, that's going to do it for this one. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to hit that like, subscribe, ring that bell, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the major response. Uh, I think it worked out pretty good. Performance wasn't horrible. Uh, like I said, we had uh, 12 engines, seven ladders, uh, one uh, one rescue, and two battalions. Uh, yeah, it worked out. There's a few uh, tower ladders that were buggy, but uh, all in all, I think it was pretty good. Uh, thank you so much for the love and support, guys. Really do appreciate each and every one of you. And with all that said, we'll catch you on the streets of Brooklyn next time. Peace.